All right, here we go. Cadillac Super Cruise puts drivers on the road to the future. Hands off the wheel. Lead engineer Daryl Wilson says it is the first truly hands-free driver assistance program on the market. There's cars on either side, there's traffic in front of me, and we're cruising at 64 miles an hour and I'm not, I'm not doing anything. It only works on highways, but the technology steers, brakes, accelerates, and turns without any hands on the wheel. We went out and mapped every road that we wanted Super Cruise to operate on with a vehicle that laser scanned the road. Several automakers now offer some kind of driving assist when the steering wheel turns green. But engineers consider the Super Cruise one of the most advanced, along with Tesla's autopilot. The system can control speed and make lane changes, but it also has suffered a series of high profile accidents. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety looked at Tesla and other semi-autonomous vehicles and found these systems do increase safety, but only if drivers pay attention. Cadillac Super Cruise has a built-in infrared camera to make sure drivers are doing just that. This is flashing green. What does that mean? Flashing green would mean you're not looking forward. But CNET Roadshow editor-at-large Brian Cooley says the technology has a ways to go before cars can become fully autonomous. It's not about more sensors, it's about data. And so that's where we get into vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications. We need cars to be able to tell each other where they are and where they're going in the next few milliseconds. Cadillac is putting vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology in some cars and in 2023 will offer a feature that notifies drivers of hazards down the road, Work zone ahead. helping them avoid a potential crash. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Detroit.